interview competition during which our contestants will be judged while they tell us something about themselves. But first I have an announcement. Miss Teen USA, Ruth Zakarian, won her crown after last year's Miss USA and Miss Universe competition. Tonight's winner, should she meet the age requirements, will join Ruth as additional entries in the Miss USA pageant to be held in Lakeland, Florida on May 17th. Now this unique arrangement will then allow for a progression where one young woman could be Miss Teen USA, Miss USA, and Miss Universe all in the same calendar year. And now, our interviews. Now, after each interview, the home audience will see the average score the judges have given to that young lady. All right, we'll begin our interview with Miss Hawaii, Malia Yamamura. Hello. Hi, Michael. Malia, I understand you are from Japanese ancestry mm -hmm. and that you do speak Japanese. A little. Could you say a little something for us? Okay. Hajimete desu kara yuroshikumasu. Yeah. What did that mean? It means I'm new at this, so please be nice to me. <laughs> <laughs> I promise we will. <laughs> um, I understand you have a good luck charm. You want to tell us about it? Well, I have this little pin here that my friend gave me. My best friend won this title last year, so it's kind of a really good luck charm. And I also understand you have some earrings, some special earrings. Oh, yeah, she gave those to me, too. And Thank you me. wear them in each pageant? Mm-hmm. And they help you win? Supposedly. We'll find out how lucky they are tonight. Yeah. Also, um, I want to know, you have some story about a mannequin. You went into oh, a department oh. store. What is that? Well, a good friend of mine and I we were walking to this really expensive department store. And there are these mannequins, and they look really real. So we walked up to them, and we were kind of touching them. And she called my attention to something in back of me, and I turned around, and I kept touching them. And I came across one that was exceptionally really soft. And I turned around, there's this big man standing right in front of me, and I screamed really loud. It was very really embarrassing. You'll be careful next time you go to an apartment store, right? Definitely. Miss Hawaii. <laughs> Malia Yamamura, thank you. Next, we have Miss North Dakota, Carrie Larson. Hello, Carrie. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. I also understand that you speak a uh, foreign language. Yes, I speak a little Spanish. Have you had a chance to use it? Not in Memphis, I haven't, but I did in Spain once. In Spain? Now, wh wh how, what did you do? Talk to them about bargaining for items or what? Well, there's kind of a funny incident that happened one day. I was walking through a store, and I kept saying to people, Como mucho, and I thought I was saying, does it cost a lot? And what I was really saying was, I eat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Did they help you out? They buy you dinner? No, they laughed at oh. me. <laughs> okay. I understand your mother was a cowgirl. Yes, she was. She was a world champion cowgirl. Do you also compete? I used to compete a little bit with rodeos and with barrel racing. And I understand that you had some lessons at being a snake charmer. Well, it wasn't exactly lessons, but what happened was I was walking to the Casbah one day in Africa, and some men were playing with snakes and charming them, so to speak. And one whipped out a cobra and wrapped it around my neck, and they started speaking to me in Arabic really fast, and I didn't know what was going on, and that was about the only experience I've had with snakes, but <laughs> it's one I'm sure I'll remember for a good, uh, good long time. Thank you, Miss North Dakota. Thank you. Gary Larson. <laughs> Next, we have Sharice Haugen, Miss Illinois. <laughs> now, Sharice, have you kept in touch with your family every day while you've been here? Yes, as a matter of fact, I get a corny little poem every single day from my parents. You want to recite one of these corny little poems for us? Sir, one is, Mary had a little lamb, no pageant cup had she. She stuck into her knitting, no trip to Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, that is corny. <laughs> Tell your dad to keep his day job, all right? Now, I understand you were a uh, cheerleader. Mm-hmm. And uh, what kind of season did the team have? Well, this year it wasn't too good. We started off with a great record. Once we lost one game from homecoming, we lost every other game past that. How do you get excited about cheering for a team that loses? Practice. <laughs> oh. 
That's a good idea. Thank you, Ms. Illinois. Thank you. Cherise Halgert. Next, we have Miss North Carolina, Tracy Cagle. Hi, Tracy. Hi. How are you doing? Fine, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, I understand that you recently won an award for your oratory. Well, that was two years ago. It was an oratorical contest, which is first held in our school locally, and uh -huh. then it went to our countywide. What was your speech about? It was on you, I, and tomorrow. Well, what did you say about you, I, and tomorrow? I talked about the ever-growing social and economical race and how often in life we take advantage of things that we're not aware of. Well, maybe you, I, and tomorrow will have a different chapter tomorrow for you. Now, I understand you say you want to be either a model, but you also like math. You plan to combine the two or what? Well, I'd love to go to college and take some form of engineering. I have a really great math teacher, but I'd like to model. But I can't always rely on modeling, so I'd like to fall back and have a good career. Is your math teacher letting you out of school now? Yes. <laughs> Want to say thank you to him? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Miss North Carolina. Thank you, Tracy. <laughs> Next we have Miss Oklahoma, Jamie Brashears. <laughs> how you doing, Jamie? Fine, how are you? I'm doing fine. Now, while we're on the subject uh, of uh, school, you've missed a little school, too. Quite a bit, 11 days. Uh-oh, what's your most challenging subject in school? Well, I would have to say English because when I get back, I have a term paper due that has a 10-page body, and I have four days to do it in. Are you doing your term paper now? No, I didn't bring it with me. <laughs> Who's your teacher? <laughs> um, her name's Betty Lennington. Well, we hope she gives you a break. Yes? You listening? All right. Now, I also understand you play a lot of instruments. Um, just a few. Tell us what they are. I play the coronet, the piano, um, I play the drums when I'm just goofing around, the zuzophone and the baritone. I think you're terribly talented. Well, thank you. Thank you, Miss Oklahoma. Jamie Brashears. <laughs> Those are our first five semi-finalists for the title of Miss Teen USA 1984.